So I had a great time uh, doing the videos uh, yesterday on the PlayStation 5. But what I wanted to do is a quick video telling you guys exactly what I think the specs are going to be. So when we're looking at the PlayStation 5, you're looking at, if this is a 2020 release date, okay, you're looking at 24 teraflops for the SoC, an 8-core uh, CPU, uh, dual-threaded, so 16 threads and all. We're looking at 64 gigabytes of GDDR6, and we're looking at a 4-terabyte hard drive for $500. The reason why I say that is for, um, I've got an analysis of why that would be. You guys can go back and watch those videos. But the main reason is that's what I'd like to see. So that's one of the reasons why, you know, we all formulate our theories and speculations is in reality, that's what we'd really like to see. Uh, will that happen? Maybe, maybe not. If it does ship in 2019, which it may very well, then we'd be looking at a 20 teraflop machine, potentially 32 gigabytes of RAM, same uh, CPU and the SOC, and potentially either two or four uh, teraflops on the hard drive. And either a 500 or maybe even a $400 uh, price tag, or somewhere in between. That's my prediction, guys. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it for what it's worth. Hopefully... On some level, I'm correct. Uh, and there you go. If you want any kind of an analysis or an explanation of why I feel it's going to be that way, I've got three great videos for you guys uh, to watch. A little bit of a tech ramble. Uh, but you'll know exactly why I feel the way I do. All right. If you guys have any questions, rate, comment, and subscribe. And like I said before in the past, please comment. I'll see you guys later.